Hi folks, just want to uh, introduce you to the upper and lower Kananaskis Lakes. Uh, this first shot here is the North Interlakes Day Use Area. And I apologize for the uh, dirt on the lens and the spec on the sensor. That's going to have to be remedied sometime soon. But as you can see, it's, it's a beautiful location. So this is the Upper Kananaskis Lake, and uh, pretty much to go to the Point Campground, I believe is right about... It's an extremely windy day. Uh, I'm pointing out the Point Campground, approxim approximately where it would be. And you can just make out two little people walking along the lake there, so it shows it's a pretty big lake. And uh, that was the upper, upper lake. This is the lower lake now. And uh, you can really hear that wind whistling. Kids in the snow drifts. And there's my girls. They decked and out the snow the drifts. We're not and really this, windproof, so we're not we're not prepared for this. And this was actually after we shot up the bear spray and the uh, bear bangers. We're uh, going to be on our way, heading to the so we're gonna go find probably a spot the east out of the wind. And instead lot. of having a fire, we're going to have beans or something over a stove. So here we are, the windows are whipping, you couldn't really hear anything I said, so I turned the volume down, but uh, I was showing the kids what to do with the bear spray. Now the bear spray I have in my hand there is 20 years old at least, and I'm showing them you got to make sure which way the wind's going, uh, you don't want to be spraying it back into your face. Uh, the one I got in my hand there, like I say, is 20 years old, it has, it's kind of funny, I just did some research on it, it has a 10% olearin, olearin, Earlier resin, <laughs> uh, capsicum, and they say that is pretty much a just a pepper spray. But this is a Bear Guard uh, canister, so who knows? The uh, the new one I have is is uh, one percent capsicum, and uh, well, it's again it's a frontier frontiersman bear spray, but. Yeah, I've been shooting this one off, like I say, for 20 years, little spritz here and there, and it's still got lots left in the canister. Um, I certainly wouldn't depend on it. Uh, it's good as a backup, I suppose, but uh, I just thought I'd blast it off, and it's a nice windy day, so the kids aren't going to get uh, pepper in their face, and uh, it's a good way, a good way to show them, let them experience what pepper spray is all about, or bear spray is all about. I suppose as soon as I get rid of this can, the less likely I am to try and pull it out and use it. That's Maya right now. She had trouble pulling the uh, safety cap off because her hand was too small. Uh, just it was up against her palm, and while she was trying to pull it toward her palm, it was kind of stuck in there, so that didn't really work very well. Right now, our hands and their toes were freezing and we just pretty much just did a little walk from the parking lot. It shows how cold the wind was. There she is checking wind. And a little, little spray. She's dressed up like a nomad but she's toasty. That was Maya and now Zoe. That's a rip. It's kind of anticlimactic, I think, uh, for the kids. It's like, yeah, all right. But uh, well, um, I guess until they get, they don't want to sp spray them with it or anything. But uh, it's important they know what it is and, and how to deal with it. And she was asking what the effects actually are. I was just saying, well, it's, uh, it'll burn the eyes and hard to breathe, and you make sure you don't get it in your face. Uh, I uh, urge you to do some Google research on this and and uh, give some stats as to uh, the effectiveness of the spray. Um, there, I'm pulling out a bear banger. So I have this little canister in my uh, that's a camera bag I have in the front. I do a lot of photography, so I want to keep that camera ready. And uh, so I got the pair or the pen. 
just putting on the, the banger there. And I did ask around the folks in the parking lot and I warned a few people that I was going to fire and be firing one of these off so it's not like nobody was kind of expecting it. However, there's a few guys on the lake there ice fishing I think that uh, probably got a little, a little surprise. And I wasn't too sure on how much it was going to blow back, but because uh, that wind was pretty strong, I was looking behind me for trees and such, so I figured, oh, I'll just pop her out in the lake, she'll be okay. <laughs> and you can see it by the reactions there, it was, that was pretty damn loud. Uh, even though we had our ears plugged somewhat, I'm just showing off, I got shot off. And uh, the wind was whipping. It was loud. You could feel it in your chest. So, uh, yeah. It's um, very noisy to shoot it, and then it gets even noisier. Pretty effective. And I was just seeing how far it went up. It probably popped up about 30 feet, 30, 40 feet before it went off. It's really hard to tell. I mean, it all happened. I like to. Uh, shoot one off a little again sometime and this time I shoot along the distance like I was saying there to Zoe that you don't want to overshoot it so it actually goes off behind the bear and it scares the bear towards you. Uh, so the best uh, best scenario is just to shoot her straight up. And, but uh, yeah, I hope you never have to use it but it's certainly a good deterrent. I also have a horn I use as well, a high decibel. And uh, yeah, that's, that was pretty much the extent of our, our adventures.